All right, here now on what promises to be a pretty fiery debate, pastor and activist Bishop Talbert Swan and Dan Bongino, host of the Dan Bongino podcast. Bishop, uh, I was looking at Twitter last night, couldn't sleep, and I came across your tweets. Um, we quoted one of them in the angle. And I really appreciate, first of all, even we disagree on some issues, I really appreciate your being here tonight uh, to share some thoughts and maybe even get somewhere. So thank you for coming. Um, Thanks for having the, me. The, the, the video evidence that we're now seeing when we see all of the evidence, not just a snippet, does show, Bishop, that these boys did not start this confrontation. But you still see them, I believe, as the villains in this story. Tell us why. Well, when you look at the um, video, um, it's true. Uh, these young men uh, were ridiculed by the Hebrew Israelites. There's no doubt about that. And there's no excuse for the behavior that those men displayed in terms of how they came at them. Uh, but you cannot deny what your own eyes see when you see these young men mocking, jeering, ridiculing uh, the Native American. You can't deny what you see on, on other videos when you see them accosting and uh, yelling at women and, and saying things like, it's not rape if you enjoy it. No, so no, Bishop, let's not Bishop pretend, what's really important tonight, let, let, let's I, I not would not, in, I that, would not interrupt that, you, that Bishop, they are but not you guilty can't of stay, any wrongdoing. Well, Bishop, um, this is where we have to agree on just the basics. Otherwise, it's not going to be a great conversation. Again, just facts. That's all I'm interested in. The fact is but, but that, those are the person, facts. That, that, that video is out there. That person who made the comment about rape is not a Covington Catholic high school student. He's not part of their group. None of those kids were jeering at African-American American activists. They weren't doing that, Bishop. I'm, I'm just telling you, they weren't doing that. They're 15-year-old they kids who were standing. They were, he, he was standing there. They were Nick mocking, Sandeman they were has jeering, been threatened, and he ridiculing. was standing there. No, they weren't. They were not doing that. And if you look at the whole tape, Laura, they, you can Laura, actually I've, see I've that. I've seen the whole video. Okay, I've so, seen you're, the whole so video. Covington and, Catholic and is lying? That student is actually a member of Covington Catholic? Dan Bongino, i got to get you no, in here. And I'm really glad the bishop came on. But we have to get these facts straight. It's very important for an honest conversation. Just like you have to get the facts straight on, on other issues like Trayvon Martin. And I agree with you on that, Bishop, by the way. We've got to get those facts straight. We've got to get the facts oh, straight no on something where, someone did, that, where someone that. did not die, but where kids have been threatened, badly threatened. Dan Bongino, did these boys standing there, did they trigger this behavior on the part of this activist? that we're learning a lot more about tonight, by the way, and the black Hebrew Israelites. Did they trigger them with these MAGA hats? You know, uh, Laura, with due respect to your other guest, uh, I have no idea what he's talking about. I have a monitor in my office. I mean, we're all watching the same. It's like we live in a post-fact, bizarro world universe. You have a, a kid standing there in a MAGA hat with a political expression on it, motionless, with a, with, a, with with a smile on his face while an adult confronts the kid, and, and yet I don't know what tape the bishop is watching. What did these kids do wrong? Uh, and then to, to throw in this random, uh, you know, fact, and I'm using the dreaded air quotes because it's, a, it's an anti-fact, a non-fact, that someone screamed this about rape, which they did, but they were not part of that group, is clearly either an effort to distract from the lack of a point, which I don't believe uh, the gentleman has, or to distract from the video on the screen that we can all see. These were a bunch of kids well, waiting well, for a if, bus well, while a group wanna, of activists confronted them. What video are you watching? Well, if you want to pretend, if I was watching the same video you were watching, and if you want to pretend that the few moments where Mr. Sandman was standing in front of Mr. Phillips what is was the he say doing? all and the be all to the video, uh, then go right ahead. But there's a but, lot more to the video than just that one point. And okay, you cannot so, sit here and tell me that these young men were not ridiculing, that they were not jeering, that they were uh, not Bishop, mocking. Uh, Bishop, that's you're a man obvious. Of the that's what our yeah, eyes yeah. see. Bishop, you're a man of the cloth. And I know you Absolutely. don't advocate you don't advocate violence, and you don't adv and, and you, you agree, I would imagine, that nonviolent standing there, even wearing a piece of clothing that people find objectionable, is not grounds for them threatening to kill them, to burn them, 
to uh, destroy their lives, to well, dox them. Well, Laura, them. you and I, I, you you and I completely agree. You and I completely agree that there's no excuse of anybody threatening to kill or to burn or to harm anyone. As a matter of fact, I've been getting death threats and phone calls uh, from people on the other side because of my tweets. So I, I, I emphatically condemn that type of behavior. But I also condemn the type of behavior that I saw from those young men on that what particular were they doing? day. And if they were we, and, standing and, and, there, and if Bishop. We wanna, what, they were not standing there. Are you and I seeing the same video? What is Nick Sandman doing? Are you Sandman not seeing doing? those young men? Nick Sandman are you, are didn't we not speak. Talking? Nick Sandman was not there by himself. There was an entire group of young men they who were, were mocking, they were they jeering, were reacting, they, were they were ridiculing. To being and for you all to sit here and babies, pretend that we don't yeah. hear that. Yeah. No, well, it wasn't It wasn't Phillips they who were called being them called that. And you can't, babies. what you can't do, yeah. what okay. you cannot do right. is blame, Bishop, simple question. Is, is blame simple their question. behavior on yeah. what their so interaction with the to, Hebrew uh, okay, Israelites so were. So people should be called incest babies and crackers and swear words and not be able to, and not respond. And when they do respond, well, the, they're the ones. At, I mean, the first of all, Nick Salmon didn't say at, anything, at, and Laura, those other kids weren't part of the school. But I got to ask you a simple Laura, question. at the beginning. Is the MAGA hat, at the whoa, beginning, simple question, Bishop. Is the MAGA hat racist? Well, at the beginning, I condemned the behavior of the Hebrew Israelites. So let's not pretend you all didn't right. hear Is me the say MAGA that. hat racist? When it, when, it, when, it, when, it, when it comes to the MAGA hat, it's a piece of clothing that represents Donald Trump and everything that comes along with Donald Trump. Donald Trump What's that? is, so is that an a unrepentant yes? racist. Is an unrepentant racist. What? The MAGA hat okay. to, to many is, is representative of a Klan hood or of various what? other symbols of racism. <laughs> how, how, absolutely. What, is it, how, it absolutely how? is. What's going Dan. on here? Is this real? Did he just say that on a cable television? Bishop, uh, I, I don't know what... I absolutely said I'm that. I'm not willing to defer to the man of God line to you anymore after you just said one of the dumbest comments Well, it really doesn't matter what you refer television. to me as. You don't define me. That is the dumbest me. thing I you don't have ever me. heard in seven years of doing cable news that make America great again. By the way, a slogan Reagan. used by Bill Reagan's Clinton at times, line, too, is racist? Are you serious? But Donald let, Trump, let me, so let, 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 so let me ask you a question. Straight. Donald Trump, wait, wait, hold on. I didn't interrupt you. So Donald Trump, who gives you but, back well, more of your money, has fought for school choice, has black unemployment at the lowest in modern American history. We've seen Donald Trump, if he's a racist, he's the worst racist we've Criminal seen in American reform. history. And you yeah. come oh, on this show come on. and you say Donald that Trump. Clinton would? Bishop, Donald, Trump, Donald Trump. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. Donald for Trump calls, and you should be calls too. African nations as whole nations. Now, he called third Donald world Trump nations. calls now, Mex don't don't he calls nations, Mexicans Mexican rapists. But Donald don't Trump don't calls okay, black so athletes sons Bishop. of bitches. Come right, on, y'all. You, you want to pretend that, you that the Bishop. racism on, that guys, oozes on, from Donald Trump has not happened? Okay, Bishop, I have a question. Is the criminal justice reform legislation that is passed in the law, which President Obama wanted to do, I think George Bush talked about, which civil rights leaders for years have been trying to get people to, you know, to, to pass. He actually did it. Does that count Well, you at know, all? You, you, it absolutely counts, Laura. And, okay, and the good. entire team of, of Van Jones and those who right. worked with Van him Jones worked on with getting them. that passed. That was smart. That, 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 that piece of legislation will have benefits to African Americans and people across the spectrum. But why, do ra why, so why would a racist no do that? The, the, why would a racist well, do well, that? You know, well, you know, Laura, uh, because someone got a piece of legislation passed does not mean that we ignore a long 40-year history. And, and what I can't believe is that you all are telling me from the channel who Oh, who one of your anchors said when Trayvon Martin was killed that if you don't want to be perceived as a thug, you shouldn't wear a hoodie. From you all who said that black young men who wear yeah. hoodies well, should I have a certain agree. perception, yeah. to tell me that a MAGA hat should Bishop, not be viewed Bishop, in a certain say, way is absolutely hypocritical. Bishop, I have to say, I think, I was putting aside your comments about the channel, I think you're making a really good point about profiling people based on what they wear. I think that's an excellent point. You shouldn't profile. If someone wants to wear a hoodie, let them wear a darn hoodie. Someone wants to wear a Hillary button or a Bernie button or a Bernie hat or a... Good for, good for them. It's their political expression. I don't judge them on the clothes they wear. You shouldn't. And if I've ever done that, I'm wrong. 
But I think we have to apply that standard across the board. And I actually think no, you, and, and you we actually agree on work that. with we President agree on Trump. That. I think no, you can doesn't. actually work with President Trump on a lot of issues. I really, I'm not saying that to try to be cute here. I actually think if you and Bongino and Trump got together in a room, I bet you guys could do some really good things together. I really do. This conversation about what's racist, what, how about solutions? Let's help each other get this country on the right track. Yeah. I think you could actually do it. I really do. I think you got a lot of passion, well, got a lot of supporters. Donald Trump has solutions, Laura. And I, a lot and of I black think, men and women are working right now because of Donald Trump and are supporting and, their kids well, and their families. Well, there were a lot of black men and women who were working before Trump came into office. Let's not pretend right. that the uh, yeah, unemployment no rate kidding. didn't drop no from 16.8 cents down to 7.8 percent under the Obama economy before right Trump now ever is, came into you know, office. Your it dropped so another 1 percent under again, Trump. Let's not fight. So okay. when you try to give him credit for what someone else did, that's what's absolutely ridiculous. Right, right. Give him, right. They're, I think, really, I think in the end... Racial tensions I, were high under Barack Obama. Guys, Very I think high. in the end, people... We all do this. I do this, too. You kind of... You want to see the world in the way that you absolutely believe it has to be at that moment. I, we all do it. But I'm saying on national television, I really believe if people just think about what works, basic things that work, you know, okay, probably having some immigration laws work because we want to protect our people, we want to have... You know, some better trade policies will probably help all Americans. Like, how do we get from A to B, and who can get us there? And we're, I just think we, a lot of times we're talking past each other, and I, th I think it's, it's sad. And I think people watching a lot of these shows, but, but they Laura, get sad. Let me ask you a question, though. How, I, I agree with you. And I would love, I, would, I started this debate with an open mind with the gentleman, and I still have an open mind. But how do you talk to someone who claims when you put a MAGA hat on that you're the worst scum on the planet, which would be a racist? Well, someone those are your words. So Don't put shallow, words in my mouth. Don't by put the words color in my skin. mouth. I'm well able to that? articulate for myself. Yeah. I'm well able to articulate either. for myself, and I didn't say that. You said that. But let's not sit here and pretend you, you, that this symbols is the whole don't basis have meaning. Of your commentary. Let's, sit, let's yeah. not sit here and pretend that things uh, have meaning, that symbols don't have All meaning. Right, guys. And the MAGA hat has a meaning. It's a well, symbol it, it, that, that are, is attached yeah, from Donald hundreds, Trump and, and everything right, that he stands country. for. Guys, That's what it we're out of time, but I could say there are probably hundreds of thousands of Americans who have those hats. And I think it's really dangerous for any of us to judge them as individuals based on the fact that they voted for President Trump because they just thought he had better ideas. Not that they're not bad people. Well, those young I mean, men they're always vote. bad people not, in every they're group. They're not old enough to vote. All right, there are a lot of bad people in every group. I get that. They're but old enough I just to think. think we shouldn't profile people based on the clothes they wear. I shouldn't do it, and I don't think anyone should do it. I think it's bad, and I think it's toxic. But I really, we might get somewhere eventually, but I really appreciate both of you joining us. Thank you both. Um, I probably talked too much in this segment, but that's the way it went.